the, the lightning adapter in the Mach-E charger does work. So it's not, it's not the charging port. Okay, guys, we're going to do a little test. Uh, for those of you that look have, have a uh, Ford Lightning and you want to be able to offload power to a Mustang Mach-E, if you buy the Lightning, it comes with a charger that does 30 amp. If you buy the Mustang Mach-E, it comes with a charger that does 40 amps. So the question is, can you use a Lightning charger on a Mach-E or a Mach-E charger on a Lightning? The charger on the left is a brand new Ford Lightning charger. It has a smaller wire diameter size and a yellow band around the plug-in voltage adapter, and it's rated at 30 amps. The Mach-E charger on the right has a 40 amp voltage adapter. The Lightning charger has a black handle while the Mach-E charger has a white handle. And as you can see, they're both identical except for these adapters. In order to connect the mobile charger to the truck, you'll need to get a male 1430 to a female 1450 adapter like we have here. You plug the male twist lock side into the truck and the charger into the female side of the adapter. The Mach-E charger plugged into the Lightning. We're going to plug it into the Mach E, and we are getting a positive light there. So let's jump in the lightning and see what it does. We should see that ramp up and then shut off because you technically can't use a Mach E charger running off the bed of the lightning. So it's going to go right up to max and then exceed it. Okay, so you saw it turned off. The maximum capacity of the bed also was exceeded. So we're going to reset this. Now we can unplug and plug in the lightning one to prove that that works. coming up and it should go up and stop. The lightning is rated for 30 amp, which is the max capacity of the bed. So we shouldn't have a problem running like this. And it is at full power, just under 3580 and 3570 and it's working. So now the real question is, does it work with the, uh, the other way? So we're gonna unplug now the lightning charger, plug back in the Mach-E charger and run the lightning adapter on the Mach-E charger and see if that makes a difference. Now what we've done is we have the Mach-E uh, J1772, but on the light on the Mach-E charger, which they look identical, this is the Mach-E charger, but we've used the lightning adapter in this to make sure this isn't the key. We got the lightning plugged into the Mach-E charger, plugging it into the Mach-E. The, the, the lightning adapter in the Mach-E charger does work, so it's not it's not the charging port. So now what we're going to do, yeah, go ahead and unplug that. This now, test is going to be the lightning charge base with the Mach-E adapter, the 240 volt adapter in the top. This should run up and turn the power off. And it kicked it off. Okay, so... If you have a Mach-E charger with the white handle that is rated for 40 amp, all you need to buy, all you need is a new cord. This is the one that comes with a Mach-E. It's a bigger cord, it's rated at 40 amp. This is the smaller one that comes with the Lightning, has the little yellow stripe on it, and it has 30 amp. You do not need to buy an entire new charger. These are all the same as far as output. So, interesting test, I'm glad we got to do that. So, uh, if you guys have a charger, don't buy a new charger, just buy the adapter.